Hey guys, Jared back. So in my last video, I showed you how to manually push Android 4.3 to your device using NCry Toolkit. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video already, what you're gonna need to do in order to root your Nexus 4 with Android 4.3 is download the NCry Toolkit. I'll have a link, the first link in the description below will be to the website so you can download this, which is version 3.3.1 currently. Uh, once you have that downloaded, um, I'm going to assume that your device's bootloader is already unlocked because in my last video I showed you how to upgrade to Android 4.3. Um, it leaves your bootloader locked, uh, sorry, unlocked, but it doesn't provide root. So that's what we're doing in this video. Um, and you probably already have all the USB drivers installed and all the ADB and all that good stuff installed. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that we have USB uh, debugging enabled. So if you don't already, go to About Phone. Uh, go down to your build number and tap on that multiple times until it says you are now a developer. Click back once and it gives you developer options there. We're going to click in there and you're going to click on USB debugging. Once that's checked, you can go ahead and plug your phone into your computer. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go, like so. Now, uh, one thing that is important, some um, computers like and prefer the media MTP and some prefer the camera PTP. So for instance, uh, if I click on camera uh, media device MTP, my computer doesn't recognize it. Okay, so I have to click on camera PTP. And then in just a and then you'll see it out. Uh, it asks me to allow USB debugging, I click OK. And then as you can see, it pops up on my computer. So now it's, it's now recognized my phone. Uh, so I can go ahead and if you want to, you can go ahead and click on open uh, device to view files. And there's my Nexus 4 internal storage. Now the next thing you're gonna do uh, is click on the second link in the description and that'll take you to this page here. This is from Chainfire and this is his uh, CF auto root um, super SU file. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, it's not sorry auto root, I'm sorry, this is just the super SU file that provides root to your device. Uh, so anyways, you're gonna download that, just click that and download it and uh, wherever it's downloaded to, go ahead and locate it. I've just left it on my desktop here. I've already got it on my internal storage because I've done this obviously to make sure that this method works. Just go ahead and take that file and drag and drop it into your internal storage on your Nexus 4. Uh, once that's done, um, what we're going to do is uh, once you have the NCry toolkit opened up, you're going to go to recovery menu and it's going to say, oh, it's not no fast boot found. That's because your phone's on and it's not in fast boot mode now. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start fast boot mode. Okay. And we'll wait and it'll take just a moment. This, um, it takes just a moment for it to sort of reboot your phone into, but there it goes. Boom. As you can see, it just automatically booted it into uh, fast boot mode. So now, as you can see on my computer, it says Nexus is in fast boot mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in a little bit more so you can see what's going on here. Uh, select Nexus device. Well, we've got our Nexus 4. Select which recovery you would like. We're going to go ahead and use Team Win Recovery Project because um, based on all the replies from the users out there, um, TWRP Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project uh, is the only one that works flawlessly with this particular method. So, and you're going to leave that as permanent. We're going to go ahead and click Start. Um, now, I've already downloaded the file, so uh, but for those of you that haven't downloaded the file, you won't see this. It'll automatically download the Team Win Recovery Project file for you and start flashing it to your phone. So I am going to go ahead and click No, do not overwrite. And as you can see, I'll go ahead and move this up a little more. Uh, it's doing all kinds of stuff, and it's actually already rebooting my device. So that means that uh, Team Win Recovery Project has now been installed on my phone. So now it's now safe to um, uninstall it, or I'm sorry, unplug it. I'm going to go ahead and um, zoom back out again. Um, so your, your device should be turned off. Now, uh, in my experience, it actually took a while the first time I pressed and hold the power button to um, power back up. Um, so uh, what I did was I pressed and hold, held it for like 10 seconds, let go, and then I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the volume down and, vo and power button at the same time. And eventually, it'll boot me into team into the um, sort of bootloader selection menu again, and we're going to choose recovery. So we'll show you that in just a moment here. It's taking a while. I've been holding it now for quite some time, and I'm going to go ahead and let go. And I'm going to do it again and press and hold until it gets me into team. There we go. As you can see, it did exactly what I said it was going to do. Uh, so now we're going to use the volume rockers to go up and down and select to recovery mode and use our power button to press the enter button. And that will boot me into Team Win Recovery Project. Eventually. There we go. Team Win Recovery. And we're going to go ahead and click on Install. 
And uh, like I said before, um, I had my Super SU. Uh, I dropped it in the internal storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and click flash this. And we're gonna go ahead and swipe to confirm. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click, um, actually, yes, just click reboot system. Alrighty, so we're booted up. We're just gonna go ahead and let that boot up for just a second here. Now, um, obviously to double check that you have Root Explorer, you can go ahead and head on over to the Play Store. Um, I've already gone ahead and downloaded this application, but the application you're gonna wanna check out uh, or um, search for is called Root Checker by Joey Krim. And it, the, as you can see, the icon looks like that. It should be pretty obvious to see in the Play Store. Uh, once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open up the application. It'll have like two window pop-ups for you. Uh, just click OK on those and then um, grant it uh, super user access. Um, generally, that's a good sign if it's asking you to grant it super user access. Once you've granted it super user access, go ahead and click on verify root access and you should see that. Congratulations, this device has root access. So there you go. You now have a Nexus 4 with shiny new Android 4.3 rooted and that's it. Although it's not Deodex, so if you guys want Deodex, you're going to have to wait for developers to do that. Or you can do it yourself. Anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click that likes button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And you can always stay up to date on all things of smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google+. Those links are in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.